hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in if you're new here welcome if you have been with me on this one thank you so much i do appreciate you my name is beta in today's video i'm going to answer frequent questions freshmen 2023 ask me without much ado let's jump right into today's video i have my questions listed here and i have of course i have a pen so the first one is Please, when are freshmen resuming? This one is a bit tricky. In the first week, offices resume. Then in the second week, students resume. The second question is, please, can city campus students apply for main campus hostels? Yes, it is possible. But then there are challenges around this. Before main campus hostels will be available for other campuses to apply, then every student in that hostel, I mean, every student in the main campus should get accommodation. So the excess accommodation will be given to other students in other campuses. So the chances are 50-50. No, I mean, the chances are even 70-30. The chances of you getting main campus when you are in a different campus is very low. But then there are hostels around city campus. So I would advise that you opt for those ones. And the experience in main campus is the same experience I'm going to have when you're in city campus. Yeah. The next question, number three. Is admission list out? Yes, admission lists are out. So two badges are out. I guess the third one should be out at this time. Yes, yeah, so admission list is out. The fourth question, how do I know if they open portals for accommodation? Now, you have to be checking the University of Ghana website to know. But then I said I will put it on my channel once accommodation portal is opened. So be rest assured on that. <laughs> Question number five. Can we chat on WhatsApp, please? I don't understand. Okay, so this person is saying she doesn't understand the videos I've done. But I think what she's trying to say is the experience. Now, the essence of my videos is to give you a glimpse of what to expect when you get to University of Ghana and what to do per time when you face a certain situation that I've mentioned here. So the rest is for you to relax and then get there and then apply what I have said. So that is what you need. You actually don't need me sitting you down or talking on WhatsApp to understand. <laughs> so it's the same thing. If I want to talk to you on WhatsApp, I'm doing the same communication here. And then if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section for me. Like I'm addressing this ones, I will equally address yours as well. But if you need to talk to me, you can send me a mail at bethaanku1 at gmail.com and I'll respond to your question. The next question, question number six. Hi, just tell me the best hall on campus that I need to get myself. I mean, for myself. All the hostels are actually amazing. That's the truth. Traditional halls, you have the Ukwafu Hall, Water Hall, Mentasaba Hall, Commonwealth Hall, um, Legon Hall. All the halls are nice. And then the Diaspora Halls, the Pens, the... All the halls are actually nice. I won't lie. They are good. The place is clean, serene. They have generators that, you know, power the hostels in case the light goes off. Everywhere is nice. The only difference is the comfort. No, I won't say comfort. The only difference may be maybe there are lesser people in a room and then maybe you also have your room to yourself where you wouldn't share washrooms with others. With the traditional house, you're going to share washroom with, you know, the people in your... I mean, there are washrooms at the end of the hostel, so you use the washroom that you want. But with other hostels, they have their washrooms in their hostel so they get to use their washroom with only their roommates and not people you know in other rooms so that's that's the difference and then i think with the other hostels too they have places to park their cars unlike the traditional hall so the halls are cool and i remember recommending a quaffle hall to the person because i have been there watch that video if you have not that video is growing fast it's that video is gaining a lot of views please go and watch that video the next question question number um, Seven. I saw your video on sociology exams. I was given sociology to do. Do you really think it will help me? Because I really want to defer. Please convince me. <laughs> Is there really 
something to convince here. Yeah? I don't think so. <laughs> but I'm doing sociology, yes. I'm glad I'm addressing this issue on camera because I think I responded to the person, but I didn't respond as well as I wanted to respond to doing this video. So all courses have their challenges, okay? But if you are more inclined to a particular um, course, it makes it a bit simpler and easier for you to understand. Even as much as I was complaining about sociology, I like the course. Most of the activities I do are about the society and other things, and I enjoy it. But then again, like I said, every course has their challenges. Usually, you are given three courses to do, and as time goes on, you would drop one. I dropped public administration in level 100. If you think that sociology is not your thing, you just need to drop it. That's all. There's no need for you to defer it. Just steady hard towards it, and then you drop it as you go along. Okay, that's the best advice I can give you. But trust me, all other courses also have their challenges. <laughs> for me, I am not a math girl, so I didn't want to do anything really regarding mathematics. Just reading subjects. But even that, I am not really, really a reading person, so there's another challenge there. So there are challenges everywhere. You just have to know the ones that you are comfortable with. Pray. Pray, pray because I mean anything can happen. But just be true to yourself. Just pray, and then with the grace of God, you'll be able to sail through. There are lots of courses that most of us are doing, as even hex that we, we we didn't like. But you have to pass it. That's a fact. You pass it, you drop it, it's gone. And then then you, you are okay. You are free. So yeah. <laughs> question number eight. This question is about voter hall. There are lots of you know, speculations about voter hall being strict, being a military, like a military school, like an SHS, people need to get SDRs and XYZs to do leave campus. Now, before I even tackle this question, the university is a free zone. It's a free zone. You do what you want to do. Except that you don't fall short of university rules. Again, if you want to know the university rules, please go on their website. You have them there. You can party. Yes, is just make sure you pass your courses and then you don't have issues with anybody don't fall short with their rules as well and you are cool to go yeah so invest in a free place you go in anytime you want you come in anytime you want nobody's going to ask you anything nothing of that sort so let me read it number eight number eight says it's water hall boring and strict like military school and shs so I think I answered the person. The person went on ahead to ask me what makes uh then what make people think or perceive it to be strict. Voter hall is made of only ladies. I guess that is why their security is top notch in that sense. In the other hostels, um Legon, no, Commonwealth Hall is only male and nobody I mean they can take care of themselves. Boys, boys, men, men, they can take care of themselves. However, when it comes to the voter hall, they are only ladies. And mind you, the ladies there are responsible people. They are not children. They are not careless or anything like that. So they want to give them extra security. It's just wise for the investors to have their game when we are going to, I mean, with halls that are only female. It just makes sense. It's, it's just that's it all right so if you want to go there you just need to you know enter your details time you came time you're leaving your papers who you came to see that's it you don't really need any long um, um long what's it called again you don't need any long writing or anything like that no they just need to take data of who comes in and who goes out and funny enough all the halls do same. If you go to the craft hall, you have to sign the time you came in, the time you came out, your purpose of going. If you go to any of the halls, that's what they do. So I don't get it why people say, oh, the voter hall is very strict. You have to ask for permission, exit. It's like a military school. They have time to sleep. It is not like that. Please, it is not like that. It is not like that. People even go as far as saying that. Their lights go off, they don't have still water. It is not true. Please, it is not true. At least hear it from people who are from 
the university. It is not true. Voter Hall is not like a military camp, it's not straight, it is nothing of that sort. It is nothing. The only thing is the ladies are more protected because um, people can just bad in there and take advantage. So they are more protected so that arm robbers, thieves will not badge in. That is just it, guys. Please don't be scared. Please don't be scared. Ninth question. Are shuttles, are shuttles, uh, shuttle shuttles available to convey students? Yes, on main campus, shuttles are available to convey students to and fro because lectures are, some lectures are in the morning. And then if main campus students have activities in city campus, a program, examination, and the rest, those cars convey them to city campus to have the activities. And yes, you are going to pay for it, but then it is a little bit subsidized. Please note that the same way you are going to pay for your fees at the bank, the same way you are going to pay for your accommodation fee. Do not hand your accommodation fee to any port at the porter's lodge at, at any residence. Do not hand over your money to anybody. All the halls also have banks, various banks, they pay the accommodation fees too. When the portals are opened, you get instructions to that effect. Do not hand your accommodation fee to anybody. Somebody was also asking me if he or she has accommodation in main campus, uh, they are going, there's going to be a transfer to convey him or her to city campus. Uh, I have not witnessed um, buses conveying city campus learners from main campus to city campus. I only see that of main campus students coming. So I'm not sure. And then again, like I said, if you are a city campus student and then you want accommodation in main campus, you, you it's, it's, it's very, um, it's not guaranteed because all city, all main campus students need to get accommodation before the Jara accommodation. <laughs> Before the when there is space, you can accommodate city campus students. Yeah, and then last but not the least, you people congratulating me for the videos I'm doing. I'm glad and thankful that my videos are helpful. I'm here to help you and to help you to the best of my knowledge. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to get more videos when I upload them. Thank you once again for sticking with me and see you in my next video. Bye!